This time on Distant Shores, we test sail a Stadship 56 aluminum sailboat on a very breezy day, investigate the meticulous craftsmanship on a steel Nordkapper 46, and finally come to a decision about our new sailboat. We're Cheryl and Paul Shard, hosts of the Distant Shores Sailing Adventure TV series. This is a Stadship 56, designed by Van der Stadt Design and built by KM Yachts. And we've got a laundry room, workshop. Cheryl pokes around as we head out the channel toward the sea lock, where we'll go up two meters to sea level, looked after by our host Ewa Koi of KM Yachts and his trusty dog Hero. Ewa's sons are on board for the ride too. It's a very windy day today, blowing 20 to 30 probably 25 or so on average with higher gusts up to 35. It's nice and quiet here in the lock as we get started and then we go out into the Wadensee and it's 20 miles or so across to Tessel. It's strange we're going up to the ocean about a meter or so up to the level of the sea. So. Yeah, welcome to Holland, exactly. <laughs> and of course, the high tide makes the difference a little bit stronger, but in general, we have two meters or more at the top. Okay. <laughs> Obstacle to navigation. Yes, dog in route. Controls for the engine, as well as instruments, let Ewa operate the boat from behind the cabin. This area is called the Wadden Sea, a shallow bay separated from the North Sea by a string of barrier islands off the north coast of the Netherlands. We sailed here on our own boat back in 2010 and have been looking forward to returning ever since. In a couple of months, we're going to return to cruise aboard a traditional Lemsterak sailboat like this with guests for our summer sail away weeks. More info below. I was skeptical about having a tiller on a 56 foot sailboat, but it's pretty easy to steer thanks to a gearbox connecting it to the rudders. And when on autopilot, it can be lifted up to make space in the cockpit. Here we are on a nice day on the one, say in the summer. It's blowing a friggin' hooey here, 25 to 30. We've got a one reef in the main and no jib up yet. Definitely gonna have a fast sail, I think. This design also features a seldom seen Hoyt boom mounted up on the bow, which allows extra control of the jib foresail. Most of the sail control can be done standing right here in the protection of the pilot house, including controlling the Hoyt boom. Are you liking that in there? I am very much enjoying the pilot house. Um, I can see all around. I'm protected from the wind and the spray, yet I'm part of the conversation outside. There's lots of fresh air. Yeah, this boat is built in uh, 2005 and it was like an evolution to the 47 foot from the start uh, Samoa and, and this boat we wanted some, uh, some other features. I think the most important was the deck house, yeah, like um, the Charele sitting. To, to accommodate that in a nice shape we needed to make it a little bit bigger otherwise it looks a little bit uh, uh, out of proportion, so that's why we made it uh, 56, also for the for the speed, so you could travel a little bit quicker. And then maybe I think uh, my parents did it for uh, when they got grandchildren, so, so there could be a little bit more space on board. 
Yeah, it's a windy day. It's a true wind speed, 25 knots. So apparent we have uh, 30. So uh, it's good wind. Yeah, I built it together with my dad. I mean, I think that's that's first of all a good good process to build a boat together with your father and both like sailboats and have your opinions about how to do this and how to do that. And he had a lot of uh, ideas from his previous. Uh, Roots he did with my mother. By an amazing coincidence, we find out that we actually met Ewa's parents sailing in the Bahamas more than 25 years ago. We were fascinated by their shallow draft aluminum sailboat and they invited us on board for a tour. It planted the seed for our search for a shallow draft sailboat. While we're in Mackham, we learn that Distant Shores fans from Seattle have just launched a new boat at Gebroders van Enkhuizen, another boat builder in town. So we go to take a look. Prudence is a steel-hulled Nordkapper 46, different from what we're looking for. But it's a great introduction to this shipyard who also builds the aluminum Orion 49, which we'll show you later. Now there she is. Hey. This is the Nordkaper. We have built a lot of them, or a mm -hmm. lot. We have built uh, over the 20 of them. Well, for, sounds like uh, a lot to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, isn't and, she uh, lovely? This is, uh, I think, it's a totally different shape of boat than uh, people know. Mm -hmm. And uh, she has Nesso, uh, uh, just like the Orion, she has a good pilot house. Yes. And that is where our yacht a little bit is uh, specialized. Uh, we like to have boats with uh, sailing boats with a good pilot house and uh, gives you uh, protection and uh, mm -hmm. and that's why uh, the Orion has the same same possibilities mm -hmm. yeah. yeah the North Capas have mostly a season uh, until end of November and then we, we start to bring her uh, uh, yeah here in Holland we bring the boats mostly ashore or inside mm -hmm. during the yeah. winter oh smells like a new boat yes it is new <laughs> yeah Oh my goodness, this is Harley, yes. she is beautiful. Of course this we build This woodwork uh, is beautiful, yeah. look at this. We build the boats uh, all uh, custom made. So uh, the, how it looks inside is every boat is different, but it can be classic, it can be modern, mm -hmm. it can be different in all the times. I think uh, you have to see to our electric systems, they are all very neat. Here you see the very big galley. That's very big, yes. Yeah. So it even has a five burner cooker. That's right. Oh, it's five. Yeah, yeah. but they have done it uh, before for the, for the big oven, not uh, for the mm. other time. So when you say custom, you're talking about some pretty big changes. You had to redesign all the cabinetry. That's correct, yeah. yeah. To yeah. make a five burner. Normal, yeah. And normal, the, the galley is about, uh, this is now about 60 and there's only 50 centimeters. And uh, yeah, we make it all wider uh, mm -hmm. because they want it. This is uh, this is very special on this boat. Normally, we do do not make it like this, but it is all made from solid wood. Oh my goodness! Oh, and not, yeah. not paneling. There's a lot. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of work to make it, but it is very nice to see. Yes, beautiful. The fridge is also nice to have at sea oh. because uh, when you open it, not mm -hmm. all the cold going out, and yes. uh, this is very very good to reach everything. Yes. Oh, and this is their custom office. Yeah, this is the they... office. Yeah. Oh, try, that try is... to take a seat and try to how oh, you can my, work. You, yeah. you may never get me out of here. <laughs> oh, this is Look fabulous. This <laughs> like the vice president's desk. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we my can call it Air Force suite. One. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put the heater inside. There's a. Uh, uh, hot water uh, uh, heating on a boat, and uh, y if you feel here, you feel here, you feel the warmth coming out. And uh, just here behind, there is a uh, convector, and we make it uh, totally uh, oh, away. You, you don't see it, but it is there and giving you all the time right. warmth. So, is this right now is running diesel yeah. heat in the yeah. back, yeah. and then it's pumping clear, heating the water which yeah. comes around? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this woodwork everywhere is just so... Yeah, fabulous. This would be amazing 
Lots of good dinner parties on board this boat. As a woodworker myself, I really appreciate the very high level of craftsmanship I'm seeing here, combined with the fact that it's totally custom work, impeccably done. Oh my god! Wow! I want one! <laughs> That's big. And is that a heater vent over the bed there? No, that's a, uh, air conditioning. Oh, air conditioning. Yeah. On a metal hull, you know, normally you start with an empty hull. You can do everything because the interior is not making a part of the structure. So we're starting with an empty hull. And if you walk on another boat, it could be totally different. You can't, not imagine you are on the same boat. Uh, and that's, that's nice for our job. Uh, we can. Yeah. Fulfill so many wishes of the clients. Yeah. This is this storage or more access? No, this is access to the keel. Here's the we have a centerboard keel on board, and two uh, is hydraulic uh, uh, powered, and the hydraulic cylinder is behind here. So if you want to check, you can take it out, and then uh, oh, you can take off these panels. Yeah, and then you are in the keel locker. The centerboard further is do totally underneath the floor. Yeah. This is the measurement, so you can see how far the keel is down, and you can always see what your draft is at, the, at that moment. And then you can uh, see it on the chart, uh, which draft you need, and then you put the keel on that draft. And then every hatch has the ocean air uh, blinds mm -hmm. and fly screens, yes. so there is no hot coming in. And so we have your That's fly screen. screens. Yeah. I think it is hard to understand sometimes what a custom boat is. I think that's the most difficult part to explain to people because most of the people are yeah, they getting some information from the yard and this is possible and then you can do it. But uh, by, by us, they, yeah, we try to say everything is possible. Of, of course, this is not possible. You have always to compromise hey, when, you have, when you have to do a bigger well, that means that your desk is smaller. <laughs> yeah, so, so there's always a compromise. But uh, we can do a lot and it's uh, nice to do. Yeah. But a uh, lot of people don't understand. Then uh, we are on both show and I uh, said, for, okay, everything is possible. And then people come in here and say, why do you have a big desk like that? <laughs> and I say, yeah, because people want it. But if you want a big seat, we can do it as well. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's very difficult to explain. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So because we are started uh, as an installation company uh, and then we f always try to find in our uh, boats to find a good place uh, for the installations mm -hmm. and uh, do it so nice as possible. So not only what you see is nice, but also the things you are not seeing directly are nice as well. <laughs> good. And easy to get at to yes, service. Of course. Yeah. Isn't that something? When Ronald started the company 30 years ago, he and his brothers were doing marine repairs and installing new systems on existing boats as well as on new hulls. Since they also service existing boats, they are especially careful to design their boats from the start to be easy to service. But you see all the technic parts that they need to, to maintenance you, is easy to reach. Ronald's company has just acquired the design for another sailboat, the Orion 49, which has many of the features we've been looking for. By a strange coincidence, it's designed by the next generation of Van de Stat. Case Van de Stat has his own design office with a focus on stable, safe and very fast sailboats. Hull number one, which was built by another yard, is available for viewing, and we discover to our delight that the Orion 49 has many of the features we've been looking to include in the custom Distant Shores 49 we've been planning.
The Orion 49 is a tough and fast-looking boat designed for the kind of cruising we want to do. It would make a good prototype for our custom cruising boat, but we would still have a number of features to address. Principal among them our plan for a high-performance swinging keel to allow access to shallow waters. But that's for another time on Distant Shores. So if you'd like to follow along on our project to develop a new shallow draft aluminum expedition cruising sailboat, press that subscribe button and we'll see you next time on Distant Shores. <music>